The Delphi method is a structured process used to gather expert opinions on a topic through multiple rounds of anonymous surveys. It is designed to help groups reach a consensus by refining their responses over time. In the first round, experts independently answer questions about a specific issue. Their responses are then summarised and shared with the group in the next round, allowing participants to reconsider their views in light of others' input. This process continues for several rounds until the responses become more consistent. Because the participants do not interact directly, the method minimises the influence of dominant individuals and encourages independent thinking. The Delphi method is commonly used in forecasting, decision-making and policy development, where expert judgment is needed to address complex or uncertain issues. The Delphi method is widely used in business, healthcare and education. In business, companies use it to predict future market trends by gathering insights from industry leaders. For example, a technology company might ask experts to forecast the demand for artificial intelligence in the next decade, refining their predictions through multiple rounds. In healthcare, researchers use the method to develop clinical guidelines by consulting medical specialists on best treatment practices. Through repeated surveys, experts identify the most effective strategies for patient care. In education, school administrators might use the Delphi method to plan curriculum changes by seeking input from teachers and education specialists. These examples show how the method helps in decision-making by gathering expert insights in a structured way. One strength of the Delphi method is that it reduces the influence of group pressure. Since participants provide responses anonymously, they are less likely to conform to dominant opinions or feel hesitant to express their true thoughts. This encourages a wider range of ideas and allows for a more honest exchange of expert knowledge. Another strength is that it allows experts from different locations to contribute without needing to meet in person. This makes it a cost-effective way to gather insights from professionals worldwide especially in fields where expert knowledge is spread across different regions. Additionally, the iterative nature of the method helps refine ideas over multiple rounds, leading to more accurate and thoughtful conclusions. By giving experts the chance to reconsider their views based on group feedback, the Delphi method promotes deeper analysis and more informed decision-making. One weakness of the Delphi method is that it can be time-consuming. Because the process involves multiple rounds of surveys, it may take weeks or even months to reach a final conclusion. This can be a disadvantage when quick decisions are needed. Another weakness is that the quality of results depends on the selection of experts. If the chosen participants do not have diverse backgrounds or the right expertise, the findings may be biased or incomplete. Additionally, since responses are given in written form, there is no opportunity for real time discussion which can sometimes limit the depth of analysis. Without direct interaction, experts may not fully understand the reasoning behind each other's responses, leading to less dynamic problem solving. These limitations highlight the challenges of using the Delphi method in some decision-making situations. There are several alternatives to the Delphi method, each with its own approach to gathering expert opinions. One alternative is focus groups, where experts discuss a topic in person or through virtual meetings. Unlike the Delphi method, focus groups allow for real-time interaction and debate, which can lead to more immediate insights. However, they are more vulnerable to group pressure and dominant personalities influencing the discussion. Another alternative is the nominal group technique, which combines individual idea generation with structured group discussion. Participants first write down their ideas independently and then share them with the group for discussion and ranking. This method balances independent thinking with direct interaction. A third alternative is expert panels, where specialists present their opinions in a structured meeting, often guided by a moderator. While this allows for deeper discussion, it may not eliminate bias as effectively as the Delphi method. Each of these approaches offers a different way to gather expert input, depending on the needs of the situation.